Hey, welcome back, everybody, to my advanced programming course using C++. Alex Louie here. Today, we're going to go over how to pass two-dimensional arrays to functions. I'm going to look, we're going to look at some code right now. So let's do that. Okay. So basically, what I want to do is I want to write a function here called show array. And I am going to pass in my two dimensional array. Now, here is where we need to pay attention in terms of how to pass stuff in. Okay, so I'm defining two parameters here, one is going to be a two dimensional array. And then the second parameter is going to tell me how many rows uh, I have in my 2d array. Let me just include my ioman ip uh, cmath and even though i'm not going to need it uh, string okay i'm going to declare a constant and call it num calls because i want to define the number of columns and that should do it that should do it so any array that i create in terms of two-dimensional array, I'm going to use the num calls, num calls constant, which means that at most all my arrays are going to have just four columns. All right, cool. Now I'm going to create just a simple array called TBL1, and I'm going to include one with three rows and. my four columns, which comes from my constant. And then I'm going to define it in a way that I am not shown you before, where I am going to populate it myself. And I just want to kind of have you see the syntax here. So the syntax here is when you populate a two dimensional array, the first thing you have to do is open up your uh, call it curly braces is a compound statement brace and then within this we can start defining our columns so I'm just gonna do one two three four comma and then four five six seven comma and then nine ten 11 12 okay no comma at the end and then this so so if you look at this and those of you that have taken linear algebra it is it resembles something called a matrix and that's basically what we're doing here we're doing a matrix that is a three by four let me just replace this to use um just uh, rows i don't i don't like using um literals okay so three rows four columns so here we have individual rows so you can think of this compound statement here as its row another compound statement here as its row and then another compound statement here as its row and then you see that the, the within the row itself i'm defining four columns which is what the number of columns i have here okay now i'm going to pass this into my function and I'm just going to do um, the contents of this array is do a new line here. And we'll call our function. OK, so show array. We're going to pass it in our table. So TBL1. OK, and the number of rows. So we'll just pass it in a constant. OK. So here we called our function, right? Easy to do. We just pass in the name of the array, the two dimensional array. And then we're passing in the number, the size, right? Now we're going to define this function. So we're just going to copy this here. Okay. And then we are going to write a function that prints all this stuff out, this whole array out. 
but I want you to pay attention to what we're doing in terms of the um, syntax here. So let's do the following. So let's do int, do a const, all right, and then um, number of rows. Perfect. Okay, so all I did was I just switched these words around. Okay. Uh, it, I mean, it really doesn't make it. I can, I can do this. I can just leave it. Let's just leave it. Let's do that. Okay. Now, why am I passing the word constant? You're probably asking, why, why is he passing? Const means I cannot modify this array. So whatever I pass into this function, remember, arrays are passed by reference. I cannot modify it. I could only read from it. So when you do a const um, on your parameter, it means it cannot be modified. Now, let's print this sucker out. So row is less than number rows. Row plus plus. And we're going to do a two, a nested loop here. We have to do a nested loop. Uh, zero calls, num calls, call plus plus. And then we can say std c out, std set width. Um, we'll do five, and then here we're gonna uh, we're gonna we're gonna reference the name of a parameter. So we'll just call this um, table array, table data. Let's call it table data. I don't like naming variables array. It's not good practice. At least I don't think so. So we'll call this table data. And then we're going to do row and column and just do that. And after each row, we'll just um, print out a, an inline. All right, good. So a couple things, right? Um, again, I'm putting in the const word because anybody that passes in the array to my show array, uh, we know that this function cannot modify it. It's not going to be able to modify table data. It's only going to be able to read from table data. So that's what we're doing here. So as we pass in the array with the number of rows, we need the size, right, up to where, how many rows we're going to go. For each row, we're going to go through each column. So uh, we have a, two, uh, a nested loop here. And num calls, we know go, it goes up to four. So this is going to execute four times for each row. Okay. And then we're going to print out a new line after each row. So if we print this out, see that you see that the contents of this array is blah, 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 blah. Okay. So again, very simple to pass in an array via um, a function parameter. You don't have to use a const and but you, what you should do is you should always pass in the number of columns in the array. And then obviously the number of rows. Okay, because you need to know when to stop in terms of when you loop through this, um, through this array. Okay. Okay, so that is it in terms of passing in data through a function. I hope you um, were able to use this. It's useful. And then I'll see you on the next video.